All right, guys, I got another goddamn video. Um, yo, just a heads up, guys, for everyone that plays Udir at the lower elos. If you're getting like the you know the moves, be like the Triforce first item, uh, switch it up and do my build that I have in this uh, game. Trust me, you'll learn a lot more instead of dying and keep dying over and over, making the game a little bit harder. You wanna get uh, you, you know your your Madstone, uh, Riggles, and of course finishing your Flare, Sunfire Cape, Mercs, and Alacrity. After that, get Triforce. You'll learn a lot more staying alive early. <coughs> All right, baby, we back once a motherfucking again. I got that 4.7 uh, Udir Phoenix Madstone in the jungle. My way. Did I say my way two times? I don't know. I probably did. Uh, I'm bad. I know. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, with the blue buff. Now, I mean red buff. Now, whenever you do this, you see where I'm standing. You always want to stand right here. Why do you want to stand right here? Because when you hit this, you see the AOE. One, two, three. And it flames both these baby ones. One, two, three. And then boom, slap red buff. One more time. Hit level two. Level up that tiger stance. And come over here. Now, when you come over here, guys, I see a lot of mistakes. What you want to do is throw it in tiger when you see it. Like, right here, you want to throw it in tiger right now. And you want to make sure you get the first auto attack off. And then you have four more seconds of flaming and getting 30% attack speed. Or get two autos. Sometimes I do two autos and sometimes I do one. So go ahead and flame that. Now, a lot of people say, yo, man, I, I, I struggle uh, sustaining jungle. So, you know, that's the good thing about starting red buff first is you're going to do extra damage. Now, you want to do red and then raids. And you don't want to do wolves after that. So you want to pick this up and then go straight to white camp. Uh, you're going to level up to three and you're going to get Phoenix at level two. You're going to come over here, flame this. Boom. After that. Throw it. Okay, oh, there's something happening. Top line. Did I not do what? What just happened here? Was I not watching? I must have been off my game. So, uh, so there's level uh, level four. I don't know what what I was doing there. I don't know this wolf camp was there. So I do pick up my wolves after that. Uh, back over to white camp. Pick that up. Rates are up. All right, instead of uh, doing my raids, I want to work on the double golems, drop the smite, come over here and pick uh, these two up. Uh, we're going to leave the gold count so you know when I got So I'm at 970 gold right now. So I want to go ahead and pick that up, and I come over here and pick this up, and I'll probably back after this unless I feel like I can do this. Smite's up, so I go ahead and pick that up. So right here, you see I have 1,200 gold, and watch my items, vault jungle items. Uh, they'll pop up if you hit machete so you can insta buy them, get out of base. Uh, and work your way back to where you uh, you started off last, which was double golems, because I worked all the way down to white camp, so you get the most out of the jungle. My blue buff is about to spawn, oh, red buff's going to spawn in 40 seconds, so that means I might be able to get an extra camp buff. So right here, I actually might back and get my boots. All right, yeah, so I get my boots, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back to doubles and not go to red first. As long as I see Kale, now I have vision of Kale, so I know she's not going to steal my red buff. So 100% going to come over here. Now that I have my, my magic and my spirit stone, I'll never run out of mana. Flame that, back down here, and work my way all the way back down. Flame. On. Oh, and bear stance in between because you're going to get return back. You never run out of uh, mana. And, and I don't know what Kobe's doing, but I was like, no, please, please. I'm going for records here. So, boom, pick that up and work my way back top. And we're right all the way back bottom. And back over here. And right now I'm ignoring the game. But look at my CS. For a jungler. Come back and probably do the same thing over again. Back to, oh, uh, uh, what do you call it? Double. So I wanted to know how many stacks I had just in case I didn't go, if I went over. So 27 stacks at 10 minutes in this game right now. Kale is mid. So if I do three jungle camps right now, um... I'll be at 30. So 10 minutes in, boom. So this is the actual video I wanted. It took me some time. And Kale takes my damn raids, that little bitch. Um, so I said, okay. Um, so fucking up my 1040. So right there, guys. This is what you want to do when you play the Flare God Deer Jungler uh, or Spirit Madstone Jungler uh, is you need uh, to stack up. 1046, I completed the Flare. 29 stacks. So now I'm only going to become stronger. Now you become a beast. I have five points in Phoenix. Three in uh, bear and one in, in tiger. So I'm going to come over here and flame this by myself at the 11 minute mark. Nobody knows I'm doing it. As you can see, everybody's sitting in lane. So I picked that up for my team. Back to over to uh, white camp. That's two stacks on deck. Three. Back to, and four. And five. I uh, see something going down top. Smack this bitch. Boom. Looks like I'm probably going to not die here. And I get out of there. 
just in case something happens. I thought Cassidy might loop around draw, or put on a ward. My red's up right now. Pick up my red. Go back to... Uh, okay, go to doubles and then back to raids. But look at this, guys. Seven stacks right now. This is how you, you, you become a fucking uh, Godzilla on the map. Before doing blue buff, I pick that up. Back over here. No, not today, Ziggs. Come bot lane. Meet up with them. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get any damage off. Uh, but all good. So we're going to go ahead and tax this lane. Uh, five points in my Phoenix and Bear Stance and one in Tiger. Come over here, see Kale. She smites it, but guess what? We take the tower. Look at this damage, guys. Look at this damage. Woo! The Phoenix, people. Okay, and watch the calculations. Watch the calculations. So here, what I want to do is I'm going to go in here. I just want to get a stun off. So I'm already taking a turret. I have a giant spell. So there's one turret shot, so I'm just going to stun. And now I'm going to run back. A lot of people would try to get the damn... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Phoenix on him. If I hit him with Phoenix, I die. Or hit her with Phoenix, I die. So I go there, give the kill to Caitlyn. Get out of there. I don't need a back right now because the flare jungle uh, or the, the, the mad stone uh, allows me to go back and sustain jungle with ease. As you can see, I'm vamping up. Get tiger one point in, in turtle and not tiger. Come over here and then throw it in turtle. You see my HP going back up pretty fast. Keep it in turtle. I'm almost full and I didn't back, so I stay out in the jungle. Oh, here we go. So right here is it. We're talking about just the Giant Spell, Flare, Spirit Stone, and, and Jace, my top laner, helped me out here. So we're trying to take turns tanking, go back and forth. You know, I only have one point in, in, in Turtle. If I would have put more points in Turtle early, I can actually do this with ease, and Jace would not have died here. But nobody knows what's going on. So he, he, I think he goes down here. Let's see. Oh, okay. So he goes down. They don't even know we're doing it right now. I think I dropped the smite early, so I take it, and boom. Uh, 15 minute or 16 minute if you want to uh, say 16, but I think we started around 15 uh, late, uh, upper 15 minute in the 15 minute mark. So uh, right there, there's a Baron buff. They did take our mid, but no problem. We got a 5k gold lead. We picked up the last dragon. Dragon spawns in 30 seconds, and voila, some fire cape has been completed. My mercs have been completed too. So those are the items you want to go, guys. If you're be uh, beginners with the god deer and you, you suck at fail and sacking, if you can't get 11 minute below uh, flare, then Go this build no matter what. Until you master it. Until you master it, then get a Triforce. Like, all you guys that get Triforce, I mean, you're not what, and you're playing low elo, stop doing that. Regardless if you, if you know, um, if you think you know what you're doing. Because uh, you never know when, you know, how bad the game's going to go on. You don't know about the throw factors. You, well, you probably do know about the throw factors, but you don't understand how to make a comeback. But instead, all you say, oh, my team overextended. How do I carry him? Well, just go this build, and you'll be fine. 20 stacks at the 17-minute mark. Dragon's up right now. Pick up that dragon. Boom. Uh, anybody? Okay, now open lanes. Now, another thing we want to hit is check the levels out. I got five levels. Uh, my bad. Six levels above Nami. Uh, three levels above Casadino, f five levels above uh, Lebron, three above Kale, uh, you know, two above the Gator. I mean, look at my team. I'm levels above them because I just continue to farm, continue to pressure, and nonstop go, boom, slap, and keep taxing whatever you can. Never, ever stop pressuring. The moment you start looking around and feel like you have to hold your teammate's hand while you're this big is when you start to lose. Um, so come over here. I get slowed down by the Frost Queen. Come over here. Get stacks. Boom, get paid, boom, get paid, boom, get paid, boom, 24 stacks, boom, push top after taking my whole jungle. Pick this camp up, look around, what's up, baby, let me get that blue, drop that, okay, watch and learn, guys. So right here, as we come in, we're going to loop in, so I was like, yo, can I get that? Pick that up, now right here, you're going to see it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the edge. I have flash, so right here, right there, signifies that I don't give a fuck and I just stole your shit. Boom, drop the disrespect. Turtle, pump, fake, juke. Pretend like I'm fapping Reno all over him. Boom, flash out uh, and get out of there. So, boom, slap him. And I was like, yo, the flare is real, my friend. You might want to back up off the god deer. And he does. I got the Baroon buff. Got some points. Boom, looks like the ball, the shock blast takes out the Nami. And boom, now we push mid. Oh, get stacks on deck again. So, right now, we check the stacks. We're talking about 27 stacks. Uh, taking that tower. Pressure, guys. Non-stop pressure. Don't ever take it easy and think you're, you know, uh, a god until you uh, understand. Until you get the diamond one uh, and 75 points and above. Because what you want to do is learn how to finish the game easy. You, you don't want to die. You don't want to be like me and, and, and do what I do and, and, and taunt them until you have this game under control. Um, full control is what, what the god deer is all about in the lower elos. 
And what I mean is knowing that you have the game in your hands and of course not making any mistakes. So right now, as you can see, I'm just dropping that disrespect. Morale is probably at a you know, negative 9,000 for the other team. C9, what's up, baby? Slap off my screen, bitch. Casadino riff walks, but guess what? I don't chase them. I go right the mid, boom, push that open. Oh shit, top lane? Okay, right the top lane. Push that motherfucker. I push anything on site. Non-stop pushing pressure. Never second guessing. Boom. Push this. Probably stack this camp. Boom. Probably stack. Okay, no, that she hasn't cleared that. What's up, Nami? See Nami. Drop the disrespect. Go around the side. I see how uh, Renekton coming at me. See Kale. So right there. Right there. Easily sidestepping that tsunami. Boom. What did I just do right here? I attracted three people to come at me. And guess what? They wasted their time. So that means if there's three people top and I got two people mid, it's just Casadino and my, my Killian Brand or bot lane, they're able to push that out. So if they send everyone in mid lane, that means Kaylin can push bot lane, but there's Jace dying now. But even though Jace dies, his death won't be for nothing because I'm already pushing top. And if they leave me in lane by myself, it's going to be bad. Uh, let's take a look at the gold count. I have 45 fucking 100 gold in the bank right now. Like, I don't ever back. I do this a lot with Uther because, you know, I think it's, it's I think it's fun. So what's up, baby? Coming in, slap, boom, uh, getting ballsy. Come back, piercing light, double gat. Thank you, Caitlyn, tanking that shit. And probably drop the disrespect. Calculations have been completed. Do I need a back right now? Probably not. Why? Because the flare is real. Spirit stone, mad stone, whatever you want to call it. Boom, pick this up and do a full six stack rotation. Boom, looks like brand's getting chased down, but I don't care. Stacks are more important than your brand. So, boom, pick that up. Uh, see, I think Baron's being done right now. Uh, looks like they struggled. Uh, see Nami. I see a blue buff in my future. So, go ahead and pick this up. Uh, more stacks. Uh, we're talking about 39 stacks, 25 minutes in game, guys. 25 minutes in game. Uh, I mean, 40, 40, 40. Uh, looks like those aren't there. Maybe I should have not counter jungle. Come around the side. Boom, drop that. Let me see. I bear stances uh, kill like five times. Flame on. Flame on. Flame the fuck on. Kobe dropping the three pointer. Uh, you gotta love Kobe. Flash in. Lay the bitch. And watch this. The flame. Throw it in turtle. So, look. The, okay. Let's 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 work on the the, the switching stances. So, um, let's take a look. Um, we're gonna take a look. Hit tab so you don't see that blocking. So. Right here. Now, one thing is, like, whenever you watch my Udair, like, going back when the Spirit Stone or getting Frozen Heart, I don't have any CDR. I have 10% on my Runes and Masteries. I have 10% from the blue buff. But here coming in, I'm going to go in. Always go in with Turtle first if you can go in, especially with 5 points. Because it's gonna, you're going to be able to tank 220 free damage unless you got a little bit of AP. Then you, it tops it off a little bit. But right there, I'm going to come in. I'm going to drop one stun, drop double stun. They dropped the ulti now. It's in Phoenix. Now, if I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage, I'm going to die. I'm either going to throw it back in Turtle and just hit him with Turtle and then back out. I'm not going to throw it in. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I throw it in. Uh, what do you call it? So I throw it in Turtle. So I go back in with Bear Stance. Boom. Stun that fool. Now, right here, flash in on him right here. So if he goes out, since my Turtle's up right now, let's see if I get the Tiger off. Oh, I didn't get that. So I'm not. I'm going to catch him. My, my Bear Stance is down. So I'm going to just throw it in Turtle because I know I'm about to take a turret shot and it's going to be up for five seconds. So if I do dive him, uh, uh, I, I just. Uh, I'll have uh, I can take a couple turret shots with my, my my turtle. Then I'll throw it in bear first instead of throwing in Phoenix, even though I can catch him and then stun him, and then walk ahead of him if I have to if he has a little bit more HP. And then well, I don't have to throw it in Phoenix. As you can see, he's really squishy. I'm level 18 right now. He's level uh, level 12. So another thing is I'm level 18 at the 25 minute mark, guys. So you know when, when you want to play Udir like me. This is the build you want to go. And another thing, let's check out my gold count. I have six fucking thousand in the bank. Do you understand, God dear? I'm like God dear right now, level 18 with 6K in the fucking bank. If you look at my bankroll, I'm paid in full. 76, 77, 85. I can go back and buy Death Cap and flame this whole fucking game with the flare. So I can buy Void Staff if I wanted to. I can buy an extra pair of boots if I wanted to. Actually, a matter of fact, I can buy the whole fucking collection of Nikes if I wanted to and upgrade every single one of them motherfuckers. So it's just like that. Boom. Coming around the side. Coming over here. I think we're going to drop that fat burrito. Boom. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop. Alright, alright. So the Fat Perino coming out, the Disrespect coming out, and the FF coming out. Just like that, the God Deer. So guys, keep it keep it simple, man. Uh, Max Phoenix first. Of course, go RQ. Uh, after, uh, uh, after, well, at level 4, then get your Bear. And then Max R. Max E second. Um, you know, and don't worry about ganking lanes. Once you start worrying about other things, you don't focus on getting 30 stacks at the 11 minute mark. 
Uh, you're going to fall behind. The faster you get 11 stacks, you will make up for people. I'm level 18 right now. So what I mean by making up, if people are under level and under farmed on your team, you make up for them. That's how you got to see it. And you can't be blinded by the rage of your teammates or anything. Just mute them. Uh, and after that, please max turtle third so you can die people. And like I said, we can click the little thing. 6,200 in the bank. Straight to the bank. I'm rich. I can buy double Triforce, maybe buy an IE if I wanted to with the Last Whisper, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then after that, put the three points in and Q. Because remember, you're going to do a lot of damage. 44 stacks, 26 minutes in. Um, and that's about it. Sunfire Cape Burn on top of Phoenix is all the damage you need with the Flare. It's all you need, trust me. And you'll win a lot more games. Um, and you'll understand the game a lot more. Uh, so don't forget to like uh, this video, sub if you ain't on my YouTube. Peace, light. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day.